What's up, everybody? Go Burns here. It's time now for another Watch Dogs mini game. This one is Alone, and this, in my opinion, is probably the most creepy and unnerving of all the mini games you can play. <laughs> it puts you in the city all by yourself, and you have to turn on these generators in order to get the power back on in each sector, but robots are standing in your way, and when you see the blue light, they haven't detected you yet, but when the light turns red, that means that they can incinerate you. So you got to take them out really quickly with your baton. And so I try to go several tactics. First off, I run up to them as fast as I can. And I try to get the element of surprise, even though it doesn't always work out. But the best thing to do is try and take them out as quickly as possible, or else they'll kill you. And this first level is pretty easy. It's not too difficult. So we almost got the first generator done and woo, that was close all right so the first generator has been activated this sector of the city is safe and each time you activate a generator you get a skill point for the mini game and what i recommend you first using them for is the hacks so let's go into the hacks and we'll uh add the uh, quick computing aspect so that next time we get to the next generator it goes faster plus Every time you light up a section, you get access to weapons. So here's an AK-47, and that'll give us 100 rounds to help us take out robots wherever we end up going next. So we'll uh, target that on our map. That looks like the closest second generator. But the moment you get outside of the, of the new safe zone, it's back to fighting robots again. So And there's a lot more robots the second time. And here they come, trying to take me out. It's usually faster just to use the baton against them. I'd save the AK-47 for kind of a ranged weapon. So just run up to them real fast and just whack them a couple times, get them out of your way. And unless you have several of them, then use the uh, baton. So yeah, when they have the yellow light, that means they're searching for you. They haven't found you yet, but they're very close to locating you. The blue light, like I mentioned, is they have no idea you're nearby until you start seeing the uh, red exclamation point above. And what I hate is they teleport all around you. So you can be running around minding your own business and all of a sudden, boom, boom, two or three of them just teleport. And I think it could be because of the fact you're using a machine gun on them. I mean, an assault rifle. I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, more of these bastards. And sometimes the best thing to do is to uh, hit and run, kill and run. You know, just try and take out as many as you can. Kill as many of them and just keep running. Don't try and take them all on because that's kind of pointless. That's not the objective. Your purpose is to get the generators back on without being killed. So let's get this asshole. <laughs> Die! Uh oh, and there's another one. <laughs> they won't stop. Oh, man, I'm surrounded. <laughs> All right, I'm going for broke here. I'm going to try and make it. I think you can actually outrun them. So that's one advantage you have. You are a little bit faster than they are. And since I got that uh, skill point a moment ago, I should be able to hack this a lot faster, even though one robot's busting the crap out of me. Whew. A close call right there. <laughs> Two of them dropped. <laughs> All right, another skill point. What will we spend it on? I mean, there's several options, obviously, but I want to focus on trying to get the hacks upgraded. So, yeah, I want to get the hacks uh, as upgraded as quickly as possible because that's obviously the primary objective of this mini game, and ensure success by being able to more quickly and efficiently get those upgraded. And while you're in the uh, safe area, the vehicles work. And we're going to go to another uh, weapons uh, chest and get another uh, 100 rounds of AK-47 ammunition as we prepare to go off to the third generator challenge. So I restocked my ammo. And that 100 rounds goes very quickly if you're not careful. Or if you're a really bad shot like I am. <laughs> oh, man, I do suck at shooting in this game. Anyways, all right, so here we go, back in the car. Off to the third generator. Let's see which one's the closest one. Eh, that one looks kind of close. We'll go to that one. We'll see how this plays out. And, oh, yep, see, quickly, the power's out, and already we're surrounded by robots. So it becomes even more difficult with each uh, bout you face off against the robots. Fortunately, so far, uh, they're, I'm evading them. So I'm trying to be sneaky here. Oh, that didn't work out so well, did it? <laughs> I was trying some Assassin's Creed stuff. Okay, I got one over there for yellow light. All right. All right, he's on to me. Crap. 
All right, come on, come on. Now I'm trying to just outrun them. I guess what my strategy here is, since there's probably going to be more of them, I just want to try and beat them to the freaking generator if I can. All right, take cover. Oh, crap. Look how many of them there are. Oh, damn it. They got me. Oh, that sucked. Anyways, that is alone one of several mini games that you can play in Watch Dogs. Tell me, which one is your favorite? List it below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Be sure and check out all my uploads for both Watch Dogs and Grand Theft Auto Online. Subscribe to the channel by doing so. That helps me grow, and it encourages me to make more videos for you. Thanks for watching.